it's me, Josh Hunter. Uh, I'm on the planet Earth. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I spent many years um, contemplating various, <laughs> various questions, various things which are important to my life and the, and the world with which I am concerned and the, the worlds with which I am concerned, things that are relevant. And, uh, you know, when I was younger, I used to think that, uh, I don't know, I never, I never thought that I was, like, you know, hated by women, or, like, disliked severely by women, and uh, thought never even occurred to me, and then, uh, I think maybe about, like, eight months ago, <laughs> I just suddenly, I just realized, wait a minute, like, <laughs> I... I think that maybe women don't like me. Like, I think, like, I'm just, like, a person who is not liked by women, like, even a little bit. Hey, dude. And, uh, I've been trying to... I mean, I... Because... Because I had such traditional uh, understandings of what hate is. Like, if someone hates you, they'll just, like, come to your face and just, like, say, ah, fuck you. Like, that's, that's, that's my understanding of hate. But then I realize, you know, wait a minute, there are very many ways that a person can hate you. They don't have to say anything. They can all agree. And some, uh, well, to them it's quiet. To me it's loud uh, in some other way. And, um, in fact, one night I was, was in one of my more paranoid states. I'm like, wait a minute, I think literally every woman hates me. And uh, so then I started to think about, well, why? Why, why, why would every woman hate me? And I'm trying to think, what did I do? Like, what have I done to, uh, for women not to like me? And, uh, I mean, I've never, I don't know, I was, I don't, I don't recall ever being a sexist person. I guess maybe I was, um, the, the kind of language that I used to use probably wasn't very great, but it was never, like, disrespectful. It was just kind of like, you know, um, I don't know, I used a lot of, uh, I, okay, you know, I, when I was younger, I used to, and I'm talking like, you know, probably about 10 years, 15 years ago, maybe even 20, um, I used to mock the act of sexual intercourse quite often, like, I would just make fun of it, and like, I was just like constantly like, mm, mm. <laughs> like, I didn't take it seriously, like, I'm like, I, like, it's so goofy, and I've kept that attitude for such a long time, like, I, like, and even now, like, I'm like, I cannot take it seriously, like, how, how the fuck do you people think that that's, like, an enjoyable thing, to me it looks like, you know, like, absurd, and, like, I can't, <laughs> I don't know, I just can't pretend, I guess, and, uh, and I think maybe, uh, ladies appreciate the sex, uh, more than men do, and, like, it means more to, to women than it does to men, and, um, I'm just guessing, I mean, I <laughs> Uh, and I think, you know, because people are always listening, you know, you never know who's listening, you never know who's a spy, and, uh, uh, I think, you know, a lot of ladies, they took it, like, they took it, like, to heart, they're like, oh, this guy does not respect sexual, <laughs> gotta respect the condom, <laughs> I think a lot of ladies, and I'm, I'm not being dismissive, no, and don't take my laughter as being dismissive, like, I'm in a fucking, like, you know, nightmare here, so cut me a little, uh, slack, or don't, who gives a shit, do whatever the fuck you want, but, like, I'm, anyway, uh, so, I, I have not, like, respected the, the sex activity, and I don't believe that people should be having children needlessly, if they cannot keep a child safe, then they should not be having children, are you having a children, if you have an, are you having a child because you, you love to be, like, a, a, you know, a nurturer and a caretaker, or are you just lonely? That's an important question you need to ask yourself, because if you're having a child for selfish reasons, you're going to pay a, a cost, a very severe cost, much later on. And uh, so, you know, don't take my word for it. Anyway, so, I guess, because uh, no woman has come out right and just, like, say, ah, you're a fucking piece of shit, Josh, and I hope you fucking die. I hope, I hope you go to hell, you die. <laughs> Uh, it, not, not yet, anyway. Uh, there's still time. But, um, I think, uh, I don't know, I just got to thinking, and I'm like, they're the subtle ways, like, I'm just, you know, like, I don't know, I just, I, I think my disrespect towards, like, you know, because, I mean, I would just, 
I just like mock. All right, when I made when I, when I mock like sex activity, like it's I was mocking the seriousness with which people take it, like that, just like the passion and intensity. It's like, have you given this even a little bit of thought? Like, are you, are you like, have you thought about all the things that are involved in this activity? And you just, it's like to me, it sounds like sleeping. Is what I'm saying. Like when people like are just so intense and they they love the the hot hot sex stuff. I'm like, it sounds like you're snoring. Like when <laughs> there's oh, oh, like it's like snoring. That's what it sounds like to me. Like you're just completely completely flat out asleep. That's what it sounds like to me. And uh, so, um, of course, this is from the perspective of a person who has never even had one girlfriend, or only one. <laughs> is that ever going to get tired? Like, <laughs> is, is that ever going to be like, it's like, oh, how many girlfriends is Josh? And that doesn't really count, it was only three days, you know, so what the fuck. Anyway, um, so, anyway, I would like to address something, um, and I don't know, this is what I'm about to say I think could probably be easily misinterpreted, but let's see. Um, I mean, my intent could be misinterpreted. Um, so I had a lady friend once, and she told me she was, and I remember the exact, actually, anyway, <laughs> I had a lady friend, and she uh, told me once, like, there were some dudes at the party or something, and she, like, either she was talking to them or she overheard them saying, she's like, yeah, yeah, we're just going to, and I could be paraphrasing, but she, she said, um, She said that these guys that she overheard, or she, they were talking. she heard them like saying, "Oh yeah, dude, we're just gonna fucking hang out and like just go smash bang some tens." <laughs> and the reason why I bring this up is because like I haven't, like I have not been a part of the culture that like rates the attraction of women. Like it says, like oh. A, a, you know, a one, a two, a three. Like, and if I have, it's been like a complete mockery of the people who do, who do that. And I thought to myself, like that guy who probably said, "Oh yeah, let's we're gonna fucking hang out tonight. We're gonna go to this party and smash bang tens." Like I'm like, when I say tens, I'm like, you know, because sometimes people like rate like the attraction of like women and men, I guess. You know, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. A ten is supposed to be like the hottest that a, like a lady can be. And I thought, like, that guy, whoever said that, like, he's probably still, like, more well-liked by women than I am. And, like, he's literally just, like, judging them by their appearance openly. And I thought, like, I don't do this, and women hate me. So what does that tell you? You know? Like, I am not, like, I can tell. Like, I, I know, I know, like, I know. I know, because it's a different type of hate. It's like a hate, like, that you couldn't, you couldn't prove it to anyone. You know, it's like fucking the end of Arlington Road. Remember that movie? Like, fucking Tim Robbins? Like, like everyone was in agreement to fucking, like, set this guy up. So, I mean, there are different types of conspiracies. And I think that all of womankind has conspired against me to, to make my life miserable. And I believe it. So, prove me wrong. I dare someone to fucking prove me wrong. Anyway. So, like, I've, you know... So, um, but so anyway, this, like, this phrase, you know, smash, bang, tens, like, like, I've never, I've never used the phrase, like, smash, like, it was such a, I guess, like, it was like a, like a raw thing to say, like, like, like I, oddly enough, I do, okay, maybe here's something that, well, all right. So, like, I've spent a lot of time, like, trying to be a person, like, who, uh, trying to be a man, <laughs> like, a, a person who, like, women, like, like, you know, like, I've, I've, I've not, not to change my character to, to become, like, a liked person, but, you know, I try to be respectful and nice whenever possible, but, like, when someone hates you, that's not logical, it's not, hate is not rational, the very, the very foundation of hate is, ir is irrational, because if you hate something, there's something that you're not taking into consideration. You are blind to something. And I'm not talking about being drunk. <laughs> it's extremely important that you, you know, like, you, you, you must live, all right, if you, if you want to continue to be content and happy, you must live an examined life, okay? Just because you're comfortable doesn't mean that, like, you're going to, cannot let the comfort put you to sleep. 
you must examine your life and understand, like, well, okay, am I doing this from, like, honest places? Uh, like, what, what, what in my life is dishonest? And can I, like, root it out and put it in its place? This is not, like, a diatribe? Is that the, is that the word? I don't know what the, this is not a rant against women. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not against, like, even, I mean, yeah, so, like, all women hate me, but, like, I don't hate women, like, I don't, you know, anyone who hates me is, like, completely asleep. That's what I know for certain. So, alright, here's the logic. I am not saying that all women are asleep. I kind of believe that women hate me, but I am not making, uh, I am not saying that because women hate me, they are asleep. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just, these are two, one is a theory, okay, and one is a I guess it's, it's conjecture, really. Um, and it's not a criticism, but I think based on what I perceive of my personality and my effect upon the world, like, you would have to be, like, asleep to hate me. And I don't mean, like, like snoozing. <laughs> I don't mean, like, you know, your physical body. I mean, you literally, you've closed your eyes to something that you are not aware of. You, you, you don't want to look at it. You don't want to see it, you know? And, uh... So I'll probably catch a lot of flack for this. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, because I, I, I've seen things that, like, are... You, you, don't, you don't know what it's like when to see, like, a, like people, like, work together. And people work together because they want to, okay? You know, conspiracy theorists, it's not just about, like, making sure that you know all the, you know, the secrets or whatever. It's, it's, just, it's, it's to show you that there can be people work together. Like, if people can invent, like, a secret language and talk to themselves using this language. Like, I'm, I was fucking reading on this thing, like, people, people are, like, they're, they're complaining about the pain of isolation from this, like, quarantine thing. Like, oh, we can't go outside, and now we... Oh, it's so painful. What am I gonna do? Like, I, I, oh, what can I do with myself? It's pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. Like, it's a, what a delicate culture this is. Like... <laughs> You have to stay inside for like a couple of months or weeks, however long, and and now you don't know what to do. You have the infinite knowledge of the internet at your fingertips, and you don't know what to do with with yourself. You don't know how to spend your time wisely. You have you could be doing anything, building any skill, anything to make your life better. You could take the time and just and everyone's just complaining and they, the pain of isolation. You call that isolation? Mind your own business, pal. Uh huh. Like, you guys got no idea what isolation is. Okay, I'm not saying that I do, because I still live in a world where there are human beings, and I, and in no way, shape, or form, am I saying that oh, that I know anything about isolation, but. Um, you know, I know that this, it's not the pain of isolation, it's the pain of not having taken the time to utilize the energy that is available to you. you, you you're, you're in pain because you're not thinking. Use your fucking brain, and there will be no pain in isolation. Have you ever been in jail? You ever been in the hole? No? Then shut the fuck up. Alright, you don't know anything about the pain of isolation. Like, it's, it's, it's almost disrespectful to say that during this time. And people who, who are smoking cigarettes and putting smoke into the air during this time, that is also disrespectful. Like, I don't, like, I don't know what's going to happen to you, to you people, like, who do that, but I want nothing to do with it. Anyway, I had a point. What was I trying to say? <sighs> anyway, I just... I was trying to, trying to... The whole reason why I wrote... I was trying to figure out, like... Because the, the, I was reminded of this guy Because this guy said let's go and like smash bang tens Like I've never said that And I'm like why is this guy considered like more well liked than me Like I've never said oh let's go I mean not like seriously I've never been like oh yeah dude let's go fucking It seems like aggressive And so I'm wondering like what What's going on like why I can't even make a friend <laughs> I don't even have like a single female friend And like why So I don't know I, I tried to examine myself and try to understand myself, but maybe there's something about me that I don't know. Leave a comment uh, down in the comment section and let me know. What do you think? Uh, like, am I cool or am I not cool? <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. <laughs>